All right, so I don't usually show the gear that I use for recording. Um, actually, typically I just use the DSLR that you see in this rig. It's uh, not a super expensive DSLR. It's actually a uh, Nikon D3200. I've got a few lenses for it. Um, that's that's done. That's that's used for most of the shots. It's just easy to carry around. Uh, if I drop it and break it, and get another body for pretty cheap, um, that's a decent little camera. Does the job. Uh, but I just recently made this rig here, and there are actually four parts to it, including the cameras. So first, you got the tripod. You always want to get a tripod that is at least, that can extend to be at least as tall as you. Uh, otherwise, you're going to be squatting down. So I'm 5'9", I got this tripod. Uh, it's a Bauer. Picked it up on eBay for, uh, I don't know, it was about 30 or 40 bucks, including shipping, and it'll actually, all right, so the camera right now is right where my eyes are, and it'll actually extend up pretty good ways over that so I can I can actually tilt down bam bam anyway so this isn't about the tripod this is about this little setup here so what I've done here is I've taken and bought this thing this thing it's a c-shaped stabilizer uh, there's a brand name of it called the Scorpion, but uh, if you want to pick it up for cheaper, just get on eBay and search for C-shaped stabilizer. Enjoy the wind's picking up. Wasn't even going earlier. Anyway, C-shaped stabilizer. So it's made to mount the camera here, right where it is. Anyway, you can't see it because it's it's like right there it's actually not even made to be put on a tripod however there is I had a uh, quick release that came with the tripod and it happened to be well maybe it was made to be put on a tripod but there's a hole it looks just like that it's the same size as your tripod mount on your cameras on any camera or most cameras so I went ahead and put the hot, the, the uh, quick release on there for the tripod, and I put this C-shape stabilizer on there, and then this here is actually uh, a hot shoe mount. It's it's not powered, so I guess it's just a shoe mount, a shoe flash. You can put a flash or a microphone or whatever up here, but what I did is I had one of these one of those uh, little gorilla pod like things a knockoff version of it and the little clamps that go inside of them fit perfectly into that hot shoe so I went ahead and just strapped it to uh, point and shoot and went ahead and uh, was able to mount it to the top of the c-shaped stabilizer and go ahead and also put it on the tripod which is really made to do this with because I do filming of bands and stuff like that. I was actually shooting an auto because I was shooting myself so I wasn't able to be at the camera but usually I'm in manual mode. Anyway, so pop that into live view so I can have, I don't know if it's gonna focus on that. Probably not. Anyway, so I could have that angle, and I can go ahead and I, I could actually be holding this too if it weren't on the tripod. And then this one here would be an auto. And it would be at a different angle. So I could have the DSLR out, hanging out, shooting the band shooting the full band a, a wide view and then I can have this one zoomed in on like a guitarist or a drummer or the singer anything like that 
I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in to them. And then, so this one's still recording, so all my cuts would be on this one, or not my cuts, but my, my focus cuts, I guess you'd say, my, my, my uh, single cuts of single band members. And then so, like I, I could get the cut of the guitars playing, and then I could spin it. And keep in mind, this one's in wide, so I could zoom in on this one onto like the vocalist or whatever. And then I could cut back to this one on the finalized video. And I could move this one to say, uh, bass player. And get them. So I'd get, in, I'd be able to get individual cuts to put into each video of each of the musicians in the band, or most of them, at least. So, it's a nifty little thing. And let's see if I can, see if I can do this while I'm filming without dropping anything. Let's see. Where are you, buddy? It's called a quick release, there it is. So, quick release right there. I'm gonna have to cut real quick so I can uh, undo that quick release. All right. So, I mean, it's still pretty light. Wouldn't wanna hold it for a whole filming like that but um, I could still use this for handheld. I could, I could pull it off the, the tripod and still with both cameras, it's not very heavy. I could go into to a handheld mode and move around and get some motion with it, move around, move to different angles. In fact, I wouldn't really even need to bring the tripod. Um, because most of the time it's just holding it for about a five minute song or less when I'm filming. So that's my little uh, cheap multi-angle rig there. So I'll be trying that out at some of the upcoming shows. So keep a lookout for that. <laughs>